What is up, cool kids? My name's Gavin, I'm that cool trainer. And here we're just doing a quick one-off. Uh, you may have seen this around some other people's channels. Um, but this is a website that lets you pick Pokemon and basically spits out your top whatever favorite, however many you want to go to. So today we're going to do my top 10 favorite Pokemon based on this calculator thing. Uh, the link will be in the description down below if you want to do this yourself along with me. So with that, let's get started. Uh, how I'm going to do this is it really lets you um, pick however many you want, but the less you pick per thing, the faster it goes and the, the better it is. Sorry if you hear this fan going off, it's a small heater. Uh, my room is freezing, we're getting a lot of really cold weather up here where I live right now. Uh, so sorry about that, otherwise I'm going to be freezing my butt off. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be picking, I'm going to be picking maximum three. Pokemon from each thing. Um, if I don't feel like there are three that I want to pick on there, I won't pick three. But uh, I will pick no more than three per how many are here. Uh, twenty per twenty uh, per twenty block. So for this one, uh, I'm gonna go Rampardos because I do love Rampardos. I really like Gramble as well, and Gyarados is always one of my favorites. So we'll go with that. Um, I really like Salazzle. I like Salazzle a lot. I really like Dewpiter. Dewpiter is really cute as well. Um, and Genesect is always really cool. Anorith is pretty cool. I really like Chandelure as well. And for some of these, I'll try to explain a rationale, but some of them I just think are cool. Um, like Chandelure. Chandelure is just a really good Pokemon. It's always been, ever since Gen 5, it's been pretty decent competitively. Um, really good special attack and just a really cool design. Um, and I think I'll go with Croconaw. Croconaw's really cool. Looks like a little caveman. Um, hmm. For all the hate that it gets, I actually really like Ambor. It should have been a different type, but I actually really like it. Um, and they do have different forms. They have normal Marowak and Alola Marowak and all that good stuff. Um, I don't know. I think I'll go with Staraptor and Tapu Koko as well, just because they also look really cool. Um, Aerodactyl's really cool. I love Togetic. Um, and Turtonator. I, li I, really, I actually really like Turtonator. Which makes me really glad that I got Sun instead of Moon. Um, is there anything here that I really love? Komal's really cute. I'm gonna go with Cerevine as well. But yeah, I'm not gonna pick three for this time. I mean, Electros is kinda cool, I guess, but meh. Hmm. Araquanid is quickly has quickly become my favorite Gen 7 Pokemon by far. Um, then Feraligatr is really cool. Um, and yeah, another one where I'm just not not a big fan of too much else. Um, I, I, I like Mudsdale a lot. Hate Survivor. We'll never pick Survivor. Um, Meganium's pretty cool. Yeah, that'll do it for this one. Torterra. Love me some Torterra. Inkay is adorable. And Earthring. I really like Earthring. Rayquaza. Favorite legendary Pokemon. He, he's in a box somewhere. I think he might be out in the garage still. Uh, so we pick Rayquaza. We pick Arceus. Got himself and Nidoking. I like Nidoking. Ooh, the f the first real decision here. Nidoking or Tyrant? And see, I didn't see Tyrant at first. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna go Tyrant. You'll notice that I tend to lean toward the fossil Pokemon, which is kind of understandable. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I'm going to school for paleontology, so fossils are kind of my jam. Um. Again, really love Kabutops. Kabutops a fantastic Pokemon. Um, I don't really like Pignite. I like Embor, but I don't really like Pignite. Um, I do like Gardevoir. Cobalion's okay. I don't think I really want to pick Cobalion. And I really like Volcanion just for its typing. Its design is really cool, mostly, but uh, I, its, type, its typing is just really good. Really unique. Love Tropius. Go with Tropius. Really like Drampa. Oof. Decisions. Incineroar or Heracross? I'm gonna go Heracross. 
Old Faithful. Love Heracross. I feel like I'm going to say about every Pokemon that I end up picking. Um, Amora is really cute. It can be really good in Little Cup. Little Cup is actually fantastic. Um, Archon, I'm not... Yeah, I'll pick Archon. I don't really like Archaeops. Archaeops is one of the few fossil Pokemon that I just don't like. Its design is awful. God awful. And uh, it, I just I feel like it doesn't do Archaeopteryx justice. Uh, which is the actual animal that it's based off of. And I'll pick Luxray, because Luxray is fantastic. Um, I like Grottle. I like Caracosta. And like I said, some of these Pokemon I just like. Actually, most of these Pokemon I just like. There's not a really there's not really a reason for it. I just like them. Um, and Passimian. I like Passimian a lot as well. Lugia. I do like Lugia. And Deoxys. I feel like a lot of the legendaries ha have a uh, spot in my heart from the movies that they were in. Because my two favorite Pokemon movies are Pokemon 2000 and Pokemon Destiny Deoxys. Um, but other than that, I don't really... Especially when we're kind of mad. Volcarone's pretty cool. Crocodile's pretty cool. Um, Gigalith has grown on me, but not enough for a spot. Um, is there anything here that I really like? Not really. Um, if I had to pick one, I'd say probably Magnezone, though. Even though he did just kill my Probopath in my Platinum. Spoilers. Um, again, another one. It's just not too many. Like, I like Garchomp, but I don't know. I do really like Ampharos. I like Ampharos a lot. Um, but that's pretty much it. Like, I like Garchomp, but it's not, like, oh. top-tier favorites. Same thing with Salamence. Love Dunsparce. We'll never not pick Dunsparce. Um, I think I'll do... Flygon? Actually, no. And Sableye, because I love Sableye. What? What now? Um, Snivy. Snivy's pretty cool. Like, like myself some Torkoal. Yeah, that'll do it. Like I said, this is a total, like, it, it might take a little while, and eventually it will, uh... Ooh, I didn't notice this. So let me find life. No, I don't want that, because I do like a lot of Pokemon that are not that. If unchecked Pokemon, that might be considered spoilers, either for certain, nah. Bad size 20. Shiny one, full check, whoops, that, meh. Shiny. You can do that if you want. I'm not going to. If major only is checked, let me see if you You know what, I'm not going to check any of these because I don't want it to mess up what I've already done. So I'm just going to keep it that way. But you guys can check these options. I would do probably Major only. Yeah, so I don't think that it will do uh, like the Alola form if you don't have Major only, we'll check. But yeah, this will reset the pecker. So I'm not going to do that. Um, so this one, I'll pick Cyndaquil. Cyndaquil is awesome. Um... Yeah, I mean, mm, I'll pick Weavile. I'll pick Weavile too. Weavile's always been really cool. I don't use it very often, but I, when I do, I always really like it. Ooh, packing some heat here. I love Turtwig. That entire line is fantastic. Um, Diago's one of my favorite legendaries. And then for me, now... Ooh. Sorry, I just got this bracelet I was playing with and it just kind of flew. Um, so now it comes down to either Groudon, Breloom, or uh, Solandit. I'm going to go Breloom. Breloom is really cool. Exploud. Love me some Exploud. Gengar is really cool. Gen 1. Yeah, I do. And you notice we haven't repeated any Pokemon yet, which is really nice. Eventually it'll start doing that. I really like Giratina. Um, I love Rhyperior's design. And Alakazam has always been one of my favorites. Sorry if the, if the commentary is not fantastic for this one, but I mean, it's just a quick video. It shouldn't be more than a couple, well, I'm already at like nine minutes, so. I guess it's going to be a little bit longer than I thought it was going to be. We'll go with Malamar. Malamar's really cool. I'll speed it up a little bit. Malamar, I love Minior too. Um, I think that'll do for this one. Yeah. We have down Metagross. Metagross is awesome. I love Mewtwo. 
I think in the major only here, I think that includes Mega Evolution, so it'll show Mega Evolutions too, if you want to do that. Um, and Real Real is pretty cool. I like Palace Sand a lot. Um, Dartrix is awkward. Um, and Pinsir. I like Pinsir. Haxorus is really good. Gudra is really good. And now for me here, it comes down to... Actually, no, nah, it doesn't really come down to anything. Kangaskhan. Ooh, but there's Shuckle. First Instinct, going to Kangaskhan. Vikabolt's really cool. Uh, Tyrantrum's awesome. And then... Yon Mega, I think. Yeah, we'll go with Yon Mega. Donphan, love me some Donphan. Gastrodon, you guys know I love Gastrodon. Love me some Gastrodon. And then... Hmm. Ooh. It's either Espeon, Dragonite, or Infernape. I think I'm gonna go... Uh, I'm gonna go with Dragonite. You know, the Pokemon that I like tend to be um, ones that are actually quite close to real animals. Um, just because I'm, you know, I'm a biologist, it's, it's, it's kind of my jam. Um, I love Decidueye. Decidueye is really cool. Um, same thing. I mean, even though they're the same type, they're so different between uh, Decidueye and Delmise. Um, and a Rangaroo. Look at that Charizard. Charizard's standing. Um, this, is a, this is a good batch of 22. I'm going to go with these three. Classics. Charizard. What well, Charizard should have been. And then what well, should have also been a dragon. Tyranitar's awesome. Uh, I don't like Lily. I don't like Lily at all. I love Cardilly. I don't like Lily. Um, we'll go with Munchlax, and we'll go... Do I want Omastar? Yeah, I want Omastar. Ferrisseed. Love Ferrisseed. And Ferrothorn. I know I saw Ferrothorn earlier, but it wasn't my top three in the in the thing. Pretty cutthroat. Um, and then nothing else here really tickles my fancy, so we'll just go Ferrisseed. I like Gillespot a lot. I like Regigigas a lot. And we'll go with Poliwhirl for Troy, our f original starter and our first LP on the channel, if you weren't around that long. Uh, Fampy. Love Fampy. There's a lot of Pokemon that I love for, like, no apparent reason. Just, either just because they're cute or they're really derpy. Uh, derpy Pokemon also tend to get my attention. Um, and I like... Eh, I used to really like Zoroark, but now I... I don't know. I feel like that would have made the list once upon a time, but not so much now. And Tortuga... I clicked it, but it's 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 a turtle. I know I said I like Pokemon that are just animals, but I like some kind of creativity. Like Fampy, Fampy's got this stuff going on. It's got it's blue. Uh, it's got the rings. It, I think I think that's what they are on their ears and the thing on its nose. So yeah, I'm gonna go with Fampy. I think that's it. Yeah. There it is. Look how ugly that is. Terrible. Um. I'm also not a huge fan of Bastiodon, but I love Aurora's. Um, Stantler. I like Stantler a lot, too. Really underused. Um, and Kabuto. I do like Kabuto. A lot of fossils here. Um, Mamoswine. I like Mamoswine a lot. There he is. There's my boy, Zangoose. Um, and Cranidos. Bulu. Tapu Bulu is my favorite legendary, I think. Well, definitely favorite Gen 7 legendary. Probably top three, at least. Top three legendaries. Um, then we'll go... I do like Vigoroth, and I, I really like uh, Dragalge as well. Cradilly. I like Cradilly a lot. Um, Lord Helix. There he is. Um, and you know what? I like Delphox. I start. I started with Delphox in my X and Y original playthrough, and I actually quite liked it. Teddy Ursus is fantastic, really adorable. Look at that thing. Look at him. How can you not love Teddy Ursa? Um, 
Then we'll go with Snorlax and Wishy Washy. Yeah, Wishy Washy. Oh, I didn't click it. Undo, go back. One, two, and what else did I click? Snorlax. Oh, I didn't see Armaldo. Then we'll go original. Original three that I picked. Okay. Um, okay, so now we're getting down to some ones that I've already picked. With Mammoth Swine, and wow, a lot of these I've already picked. Um, so here, I would probably say Giratina, Bulu, and Donphan. I like Donphan a lot. Zangoose. So yeah, I'm pretty sure all of these here are ones that I've picked previously. So now, now it's starting to get down. It's starting to get hard now. Um, so I'll go with Zangoose. I'll go with Tyranitar. Yeah, I'll go with Tyranitar. And I'll go with Chandelure. But there's Drampa. I'll go with Chandelure for Drampa. I like Drampa a lot. So we'll go with Rockwinid. We'll go with Tyrantrum. And Old Faithful, Heracross. See, now it's starting to get tough. Um, I'll go with Sableye, Rayquaza, and Exploud, I think. Yeah. A lot of fossils in that one, but I'm just, I'm, I'm feeling oh. right. Now I'm just, I'm just start rifling them off. Um, because I want the gut reaction. I want it to be like, what I actually, that's what the list is supposed to be about. Your actual, like, gut reaction. Pick however many you really like. So especially when it comes down to this part. When it's the ones you already have chosen that you like. But now it's the ones that you really like. Um, so I'm gonna go with Gyarados, you, and you. Yeah, I feel comfortable with that. Oh, wow. Wow, we're down already. Okay, so now we're gonna go with, uh, two. We're going with two for these. Uh, so I'm gonna go with Aurorus, Magneton. Zangoose, and Boo. Uh, Rayquaza. Oh, man, that's tough. Oh, man. Uh, Rayquaza, Tyrantrum. Exploud, Torterra. Oh, there's three, so I'm only gonna do one. Ugh, save boy. Uh, Rayquaza. Zangoose, obviously. Bulu. Zangoose. 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 Pretty obvious. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna go Bulu. Rayquaza. That, that one's tough. That one's a lot tougher. Oh god. Um, I can't go Bulu. Rayquaza. Fampy. Torterra. Fampy. Fampy. Okay, so now back to five. I don't understand. Um, Rayquaza. See, I didn't even pick these. I don't know. What is happening? Um, pass. Pass. Torterra. Okay, now we're back to these. Uh, Salabi. I don't know where that came from. Pass. I didn't pick any of these. Rayquaza. Pass. 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 Rayquaza. Pass. I picked none of these Pokemon. Where are these coming from? Rayquaza. Pass. 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 Rayquaza. Rayquaza. Pass. 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 Oops. Undo. Rayquaza. Rayquaza. Pass. Pass. Rayquaza. 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 Thank you. Tyrantrum. There we go. Now we're starting to get back. Thank you. Um, Aurorus. Torterra. Axe Pass. Torterra. Mmm. Exploud. I don't know why. Exploud. Oof. Exploud's just another Pokemon that I just, for absolutely no reason, I just love. Yeah, Exploud. Torterra. Pass. Yeah, Aurorus. Torterra. It's gonna, gonna come down to Torterra and Aurorus for this one, I can tell. This one I really don't know. I think I'm gonna go Torterra. Heracross. Tyrantrum. Aurorus. Lucario. Donphan. 
Heracross, Tyrantrum, Aurorus. Oh man, that's those are both such good Pokemon. What? How do I pick? Uh, Tyrantrum. Pass. Drop him. Pass. Aurorus. Ooh, uh, Gyarados. Aurorus. <laughs> Sorry, I, I, the commentary has just a, literally gone away completely at this point. It's basically just me clicking and going, ah. Uh, see, like, great. Fan, both fantastic Pokemon. Aurorus. I need to pick one. Aurorus. Don Fan. Ho oh, oh, I guess. Heracross. Gyarados. Tyranitar. See again. Two really good Pokemon, Gyarados. Heracross. 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 Love me some Heracross. Magnezone. Pass. Gyarados. Pass. 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 Gyarados. Pass. Jeez, all of these don't have a Muffery. Gyarados. Pass. I don't want to see these Pokemon anymore. Get out of here. Gyarados. Gyarados. Okay. So, I don't know. Can you can you even see that? You can't even see it. Well, I'm over here now. So, these are my top ten favorite Pokemon according to this website. Took a little longer than I wanted it to. Um, but, you know, we got there. So, we have Zangoose. You know, pretty obvious. We have Tapu Bulu. I would have said Tapu Bulu is probably... At least in the top five. I, I really like Tapu Bulu. Um, Fampy? I, I, do, I really like Fampy. Um, I don't know that I would have thought of it, really, um, in like a top ten thing if I had been making one without this. Um, but I, I really like Fampy. I love its design. I think it's really cute. Um, I really like Don Fan. Don Fan's really, really good. Um, Rayquaza? Rayquaza easily would have. I think. I think I would have put Rayquaza probably number two or number three. Um, I'm not really sure, but it definitely would have been on the list. I think X Cloud would have also made the list. I think X Cloud probably would have been a little lower, probably like eight or nine range. Um, I don't think Torterra would have made the list. I really don't. Um, but I do really like Torterra. Um, I'm really partial to all the starters that I started with the first time I played that gen and. Uh, for Gen 4, it was Torterra. I think Torterra is a fantastic Pokemon. Um, one of my favorite starters all of all of them. Um, and then these two are uh, pretty much just fossils, fossil Pokemon, and I love them. I th they, are, they are my two favorite fossil Pokemon. They're the best designed. They're, I think, the best typing, even though Aurora says two four times weaknesses, but that's fine. Uh, <laughs> um... But yeah, I think they're both really fantastic Pokemon, and I probably would have put them about that place on the list. Heracross is another one that I don't think I really would have thought of. Um, but I'm really glad I did. I, I like Heracross a lot. Um, especially Mega Heracross. I really like Mega Heracross. It just doesn't... I don't use it very often, but I, I really like Mega Heracross. And just Heracross in general. Like, Scarf Heracross with Moxie is so good. Um, and it's, it's just a... I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Uh, and then Gyarados. I feel like Gyarados would have made an honorable mention. I don't know if it would have made the list. Um, but it, it easily could have. I definitely think it would have been like 12 at the highest. Or like lowest, I, I guess. Um, it would have been 12 or lower, I'll say. Between 12 and 1, somewhere. Uh, 12 and 2, because obviously Zangoose uh, is going gonna, is gonna to be number 1. Um, but thank you so much for watching. And going through this, like, I, I know the commentary wasn't, you know, really on point. Um, but, I think you're going through this adventure with me. Let me know what your guys' results were down below. I think it's a really interesting program. Um, and, who knows, maybe I'll make another video in, like, six months. You know, after I, you know, do some Nuzlocke's. Because th th this list is always going to be changing. I feel like Zangoose and Bulu are always going to do... Zangoose is always going to be number one. Bulu is always going to be really high... Rayquaza is always going to be really high. Um, and, yeah. But, you know, going through and playing Nuzlocke, that's why I play Nuzlocke, so I can use Pokemon, randomizers, I mean, 
Well, and Nuzlocke. So, so you can use Pokemon that you don't normally use. And so they can quickly become some of your favorites. That's why Heracross is one of my favorites, because I um, used it in a Nuzlocke I played by myself. Not before I had the channel. Uh, I used a Heracross, and it, it won me the game. Like, I, I would not have won if I did not have a Heracross. So... Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this video as much as I did, please, please, please like and or subscribe. Follow me on Twitter and Twitch at that cool trainer. And until next time, smile later.